So what this shows is a top-down, uh, scaled, I guess, for lack of a better word, image of this crime scene. Uh, you'll see there's a person in the middle of the screen right here that is laying down and deceased on the floor, and there's a bunch of bubbles on the screen. These bubbles are every single position where this agency scanned. So if I click on this bubble, I can jump into the scene as if I was actually there. When this Let's was hold taken. it right there. Let's hold it right there. Okay, so he, as he said, he clicked on the bubble. This is the actual crime scene. Uh, and this is done with Faro 3D laser scanning. Um, you can see details. Uh, and, and this is through the internet. When, Luke, correct me if I'm wrong, when this is presented in a courtroom, it's mm -hmm. going to be a lot higher in quality because we're processing it through my um, software for my live streaming and you're sending it to me through your Wi-Fi. Mm -hmm. uh, when this is presented straight through with the software into a computer, it's, it's, a lot, uh, it's a lot more crisp. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, that's correct. It's crystal clear, uh, at least on my end right now within the software. Yeah, it is mine too. Folks, now in the old school, I would have to go in there and do a hand floor plan of this uh, barbershop uh, on the drawing and take extensive measurements of the, all the walls, all the furniture, where everything is positioned, the, the barber chairs, and each one of those yellow uh, evidence markers, and that's what they are, evidence markers, they come in numbers and they come in numerals, um, uh, an alphabet rather, and um, there are ballistics evidence uh, all over there and I would have to measure uh, to two points each piece of evidence that's um, by a marker. And I would have to have a, like a spreadsheet of all the evidence and all the uh, measurements as to where the evidence is. Here with the scanner, it's taking the photographs it's, and it's getting the measurements. So if, if Luke, like Luke just showed you right there at the base of that um, uh, bench there, he's got a measurement between two pieces of evidence, evidence number 26 and evidence 21. And it's showing you in that little um, bubble there what that measurement is. Okay. So I, for the audience that's watching and that if you're just coming in on a replay, um, this is a demonstration of the 3D laser scanning from Faro. Um, in crime scene and uh, in, in evidence collection, this is state of the art, top, top quality, um, real live what the crime scene looks like. And in, in, in the Moscow uh, quadruple murders, uh, this is what the jury is going to be able to see inside of 1122 King Road, whether it's still standing or it's knocked down. They're going to be able to get right in and stand right next to um, these potential victims. And, and if you can, uh, Luke, when you get a chance, if you can get right up on that uh, decedent, you can, we could show... Um, you guys exactly what, um, you know, the potential is for uh, uh, jurors to see inside of 1122 King Road. And again, I'm going to go full screen with this. This is a, a, an actual crime scene. Um, this person was shot in the head. Ed, can you take it from here? Okay, yeah. So you, you see the uh, victim in the actual position that the victim fell. You can also see that EMS was there, um, worked on that victim because um, now... Uh, the victim may have been altered in its in um, its position because I could see evidence that EMS had put uh, um, meters and equipment on the victim, trying to get vitals and um, so forth to do some resuscitation, try to save the life there. Um, but then you also saw the blood, and you saw that the floor is not level. You could see you how see. the blood drained away from the body of the victim because it will follow uh, gravity and it seek its low points. Um, which is going to be one of the issues uh, found in that um, house in um, Idaho uh, with, with the blood. And you can see um, how clear and um, precise this information is. Now we have measurements 